All right, it's been 24 hours. Now the neck glue up is really good and dry. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off all these clamps and see how it looks. Kind of looks like the joint up uh, went pretty well. Things to look for when you're checking your glue joints after they're drying, um, especially in a neck glue up, is um, like I said earlier, you want to check for any gaps. You know, any gaps where there, where there isn't any glue showing. You know, and I really, I mean, I've got a tiny, tiny little one here, but that really looks like it. And I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling once I run this through the planer that you're not going to be able to see those anymore anyway. I think those were just superficial, just kind of on the outside. Except I've actually still got a, a pad stuck here from one of the clamps. Uh, you get all your pads off, make sure you don't lose them. Another thing you want to do too is to take the board and you want to kind of sight it to see how, just to see how straight it is still after the clamping. Um, and this one looks really, really good actually. So, did a pretty good job. And again, this is Curly maple, three plies out of one board, and they're just stacked up and done together. There aren't any veneer strips in between. That is something you can do as an option. Just makes it a little bit more gluing surface. Um, so sometimes you get a little bit more slip around, but that's not too bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim off the excess glue before we take it over to the planer. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get yourself out a chisel. And with the bell side down, you want to go ahead and get on to all of the big pieces of glue squeeze out that around here. Um, I like to do this before I send the piece through the planer. Uh, it probably really doesn't make any difference because the planer knives are going so fast it probably doesn't really notice or care. But um, I just think it's easier to, to resharpen one of these than it is to you know put new planer blades on or, or wait to have those sharpened. So I'm going to come along both sides here, take off the vast majority of the glue, and then we should be ready to put it through the planer here pretty soon. Alright, next already gone through the planer. Nice and easy. I uh, don't really need to show you too much of that. It just looks uh, nice and flat. Um, maybe I'll show you in another section here in a bit, but I've got the two body pieces here. I hacked off the end, uh, the longer part of the book match of the Paduke that we're doing. So that way it's about the same size as the shorter piece that I'm working with here. And I've got both of these, and again, I mean, it might it might be kind of hard to see the book match a little bit in there, but, you know, it looks pretty good. So what I'm doing here, I already did it once, but I'm going to redefine the line here. I'm going to put this guy on about where it needs to be. Preparation for gluing. And draw a line across. Put this guy where it needs to be, which is right up to the center. Draw a line across. And that's just going to give me about how far I need to get my glue out because the one piece is a little bit longer, obviously. So don't want to waste a whole bunch of glue bringing it out to this end. So what I'm going to do is turn this guy over. I'll wind up covering this entire side with glue. And then covering this entire side with glue. And come back, flip it over and start lining my clamps all the way around it for really, really even clamping pressure. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera just because gluing and clamping is boring. And I'll return to you here with a you know, glued up side. Um, hopefully both of them actually. But and I mean that gluing one. and clamping is boring for me, but it may not be boring for the people who are watching this. So here's what she looks like. Completely covered in glue on both sides. Uh, put it on. Go ahead and just give it a little schmear there, kind of. You know, check to see that everything is lined up. And then, what I'm going to do is just come across and start putting these clamps on. And right now what I'm just doing is putting them on with just, you know, kind of low pressure. You know, I just want them to be on here. You know, keep the top piece from sliding away. I don't want the top piece to slide off. But you just want to kind of get it on. And keep the pressure kind of low. Because what you're going to do here at the end is you're going to go ahead and start clamping them down and really increasing the pressure. 
And what will wind up happening is when you increase all the pressure at once, when there's, you know, say 20 or 15 other clamps on here that are, that are helping hold it down, it's going to decrease the likelihood that the board starts sliding away when you do that, which is good because you definitely don't want to go through all the effort of gluing something up and then come back to find that it's shifted over, you know, half an inch or something like that or sometimes less. But, you know, especially on something like this, the red board is only, the Paducah is only five and a quarter, five and a half inches wide. So I need to get every last little bit of that board um, into use here. So we got all the clamps on this side, and I'm just going to grab a couple more, a couple more here, and pick this up, turn it around. I'm going to start putting some clamps on this side. And again, just putting them on with you know just a little bit of pressure, not very much. Just kind of snugging them up and then giving them one little squeeze, and that's it. And then we're going to come around and squeeze the lemon daylights out of it, so that way we know we've got really good and uniform pressure, you know, all over. So there's the initial, all the clamps here. So I'm going to come over here, start really clamping them down, and I'm seeing a lot of glue squeeze out, which is fine. You know, I want to make sure you have really good adherence here and that the piece itself is firmly locked down because when you have a drop top and you start carving into the ends and you start rounding them off and things like that, if you have gaps in the glue, you're going to dig down to them and you're going to uncover them. And what's going to happen is you're going to have to fill them, or you're going to have to do you know, something cosmetic over it so that way it doesn't look like hell. And it's just a hundred times easy, easier to do the job right the very first time and get everything clamped together well, and you don't have to worry about it nearly as much. Alright, so that's really torqued down there. Um, unfortunately, I'm only going to have enough clamps um, to do the one half here, but that's fine. We can do the other half tomorrow. And um, I will go ahead and finish that up. I'll probably bring everything. Um, probably bring some of the stuff that's drying into the house just because it's been a little humidity, a little, little bit of higher humidity and a little bit of raininess, you know, kind of out there, so I don't want to have any warping issues or anything, which shouldn't with a couple of big boards that are already dry and are already, you know, clamped together with glue, but better safe than sorry.